and welcome to I'm a Celebrity South Africa, the podcast with me, Scarlett Moffat, and the wonderful... Sean Wolf. <laughs> I love the little delay. We're getting there. there. We're getting better, are we? We're getting there. By the end of this series, <laughs> I think we'll have nailed how to do an actual podcast. But I just want to say <laughs> to everyone listening, thank you so much for listening. And make yes. sure you tell your thank friends, you. family, your colleague, your pet dog, if they like I'm a Slim as much but as even you. Even people you don't like. Just tell, yeah, just shout it on the street. Yeah. <laughs> Don't discriminate. Get on that bus, get on that train and tell them what you're listening to. Because this is this. this is where we just basically delve into the South African bush and talk all things I'm a celebrity legends. Yes. I feel like I say it on every other episode, but again, this is one of my favourite episodes. A lot went on. Yes. I, I mean, we had people going. A lot going, went on. People leaving. Oh. Left, right and centre. We had a few arguments. Like, it was, yeah. Scarlett, it started with two campmates going, basically. I know. That's Andy the beginning of the episode. I'm so I gutted. Know. I know. Poor Andy. He, he, he even admitted, didn't he, that he found it a lot harder this time round. I know, and that makes me sad because I think he basically like... didn't enjoy it. He tried to be upbeat. I feel for him. He's a massive fan of the show, but yeah. we actually get to speak to Toph and Andy a bit later on in I the know. podcast, so keep listening. Yes. You're going to have a chat with him. I'm going to have a chat with Toph, and we'll find out more from them about what it was like in the bush. Ooh, and then we've lost Janice as well. I really love Janice. Janice wasn't afraid to add spice to the mix, was she? Heat up those campmates. Yeah. She didn't mind a bit of conflict. I'm sad she's gone, but we're well, going to talk to her as well. Yeah, we are, so I don't want people to worry about her because all is well in Janice Dickinson. Yes. So don't yes, worry about her. Absolutely. My favourite moment worry. of the podcast... My favourite moment of the podcast. Uh, my favourite moment of the show <laughs> <laughs> tonight was... Getting to know you, Sean. Thank you. <laughs> was finally Joe Swash actually changing his underwear and given those pants that have went through an ordeal oh of five days and five nights of farting that... and dampness and all that is Joe Swash, they've finally been able to breathe. <laughs> I know. I can't believe that they managed to actually stay on him and not just walk off themselves <laughs> after five days. I know. They should be put in a museum, some sort of I'm a Celebrity Hall of Fame. <laughs> I actually had images of them sat around the camp and the and he's boxing <laughs> shorts putting himself up for a trial, being like, I'll do anything to get out of here. Let me go and do the trial, please. <laughs> and the winner of I'm a Celebrity <laughs> South Africa is Joe Swash's Pants. <laughs> You have to go through is. the biggest trial of them all. <laughs> yes. Let's stay on, Joe. This is what's happening. They're not eating. They're tired. They're uncomfortable. And now they're, they're becoming emotional. Oh, and no. he's... T I mean, he he pretty much cried throughout the entire episode, bless him. He did. And, I, and like I say, like, Swash is a friend. And, like, I know how much... The jungle means to him. Clearly, I've only met Joe a couple of times doing shows, but just what what such such a friendly, uh, upbeat guy who, who uh, you know, I, if I was if I was in there, I'd want someone like Joe in. He's just yeah. a real, re really nice, good character. He's just proper down to earth, but I mean, I don't know because obviously yeah. your experience happened last year, but you can still like yes. reflect on what's happened in a year. But I know for me, like I'm very yeah. much like Joe, and like when I actually came back to film Extra Camp, I spent about a week crying because it, it like oh my god, when you're a fat like for me. Like, I, I feel like I'm a celeb really changed my life because I went from sort of being a primary school teacher to then doing Gogglebox where I was, like, a professional couch potato, watching my favourite shows like I'm a celebrity, so actually, like, watching it and talking about it, to then being on it and then doing yeah. extra camp and yeah. everything after, like... Winning it! Oh, winning yeah, winning it, it. yeah, no, I don't like, don't like to, you know, be a big head. But, like, no, I, I do know. feel like it really... Changes everything. What did you think of him and um, Janice having a little dispute? Well, 
I think what obviously what happened there a little bit is there was a kind of a clash of cultures, I think, where Joe, you know, being very, very British and Jonas being very American. And obviously, if you're British, that's actually how that's how you communicate. That's how we love to communicate, isn't it? If, like, this is rubbish. We're well, rubbish. We kind of laugh it off. Yeah, and I think, like, the thing is, like, it, it's so different. Like, the USA is always like, go, team, go, go, team, go. Whereas in England, yeah. we're like, we crap and we know we are. Like, but, but that's banter. Yes, exactly. I think what didn't come across is that, actually, the worst that someone insults you in England is the more they love you. Like, if my nan calls me a name and, like, goes, oh, you stinky little sod. I know that that means that my nan loves me. Is that me. what she calls you? Yeah, sometimes. Like, I know that means... That Stink- my- <laughs> I might start calling you that, you stinky that little sod. You, Go on, what are you saying? You very, very much. Whereas if you don't insult yes, people, absolutely. that means that you don't feel comfortable enough to banter with them. That's very true. So That's I, very true. I so completely I think agree with actually that. it showed that Joe loves his team is the fact that he can call them rubbish. I mean, Fatima's challenge... that. The deadly depths, I felt like that was such a hard trial. The, the thing is, and I might sound harsh here because I'm a huge, avid fan of Fatima, I'm not so much of a fan of her when she actually does the trials because she doesn't actually talk. Do you know what I mean? Like, Ant and Deck are trying to get, like, <laughs> information out of her and you want to know a strategy. She's focusing. And, yeah, yes, yeah, that's great. That's great, isn't it, that she's focusing. Yeah. But for TV entertainment, Sean... I want to know what's going on in your head. I want to hear a few screams. I want to know what's happening. I don't just want silence and her dipping in and out of water, unlocking stuff. I because know. I was like, come on, And Fatima. then coming up with three stars. Three. Come on, she was better than that. We got a lot of stars when I was doing it. They're getting even less... You know, half of them are only on rice and beans. So God only knows how they're handling it. They must and, be going mad. And you know it's and bad when crap when they're actually... blue act- chicken. <laughs> yeah, I know, and you know it's bad crap when, like... Because the be- right, the beans are the worst thing. The rice you can handle, but the beans are, are honking, right? And you know it's bad crap when yeah. they've used most of the rice up and they're only having, like, yes. a lot of the time, beans. Like, that's even, wor- that's even worse than rice and beans is just the beans. Like... I'd be losing my mind, honestly. I'd be licking my finger. I'd just be chewing my fingers. I'd be licking leaves at this Chewing point just for fingers. a bit of taste. Like, I just want it. <laughs> do you know what I would do? No joke, because I did actually think about Go this on. when I was in the jungle. I was thinking, I wonder oh if I cry into my rice, it'll taste salty. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wonder if you That's cr- genius. Yeah. And I was thinking, I wonder that if you cry genius. a bit, it makes them taste a bit... Like, you know, nice. They should have got some of Joe they should have collected Joe's tears. Yes. And then put it in the put it in the pan. A little bit of spice. Fried <laughs> rice and Joe Swash tears, yeah. So very exciting now. Uh we have got Andy with us. Now he claims to be the I'm a Celeb super fan, but you also claim to be the I'm a Celeb super fan. I don't claim to be. I know I am. Oh, so okay. I feel like I, I feel like we need to uh, straighten this out uh, once and for all. To be fair, fighting talk from Moffat. So what we'll do, <laughs> right? Why don't you you go head to head with Andy, and we'll find yeah. out who knows the most about the bush slash jungle, and I'll handle Toff. That sounds good. Who's going to be the the ringleader for me and Andy? What the, uh, me? I'll handle that. All right. I'll all right, decide. Okay, yeah. I'll decide who knows the most. This sounds good. <laughs> Hello, Andy. How are you? I'm not too bad, Scarlett. How are you? I'm really good. Do you know what's so exciting? That you are also a super fan of I'm a Celebrity, the same as me. Yeah, I've always watched it from, from day one. So uh, to do it in 2019 was a dream come true. But then to get asked to go back and do it again, it was like, well, so I felt really, really privileged and honoured to go back, to be honest with you. How was it actually coming in late this time? Because obviously you were in Savannah Scrubs. <laughs> I came in late in 2019 as well. Yeah. Um, so obviously I didn't know. I was I assumed, like, not again. <laughs> yeah, well, I assume people must have been must have already been in there. Then obviously I met with Mylene and, uh, and Toph um, and obviously ended up in Savannah Scrubs, which was, to be honest with you, the setting was absolutely stunning. It was really nice. 
Um, but then we just had Sean Ryder that came along who snored like an absolute trooper. When you did the fire, how long did it actually really take yeah. you to get it going? Honest to God, it felt it felt like a lifetime. Uh, I had a go. I mean, Mylene was amazing, to be honest with you. She just kept doing that. And I was like, the flint's not even working anymore. We need a new flint. I kept going and saying, can you give us some tips how to light this fire? And they just wouldn't, wouldn't give us any tips for raising eventually. <laughs> After probably three hours, 58 minutes, they said to use a bit of toilet roll. So as soon as we did that, we eventually got it going. And as when we went to do the trial, I said, so I deck, it took us about two and a half hours. It was like, no, actually, it took you four hours. It was like, oh my, how did it took us four hours to light a fire? But yeah, we got it going eventually. But honestly, God, it was an absolute nightmare. It was going dark. I kept going in saying, it's going to be dark soon. We need to put the rice and beans on. I remember when I came out, they were like, because you hadn't, because you don't really eat dairy when you're in there. They were like, when you come out, try not to eat dairy. Try to reintroduce it into your diet. As soon as I got out, I had a strawberry milkshake and a cheeseburger, and I literally just vomed <laughs> everywhere. I literally just projectile vomited. I was like, but I just didn't even care because I was like, I just really want some cheese and, and some milk because I haven't had it for so long. Yeah, did you keep in a hammock in Australia? See, I I don't know whether it's because I was younger then or what. But I loved my hammock. I have. I don't know oh, if it's because I'm five just, foot, the, but like my hammock, I just felt so cocooned. I loved it. Yeah, well, I don't mind chilling on them during the day, but sleeping in them, I just couldn't couldn't sleep. And then we called it the bed of doom because Sean was in that bed. As soon as you come into camp, there was a bed on the left hand side, and Sean was in that bed. He went. Then I may went in that bed, he went, then I went in that bed, and I went, so it's like, it's just a bed of doom, that. Don't, don't, when we, when we, if I go, I said, do not go in that bed, do not go in that bed. Now, Andy, I know you're a self proclaimed super fan, even Ant and Deck noticed, but I've news for you. So am I. So I'm going to bring in my podcast partner, Sean Walsh, now to be our quiz master and settle once and for all who is the ultimate I'm a celeb fan. Right, doing, uh, hello okay. Andy. You all right? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, that's the pleasantries out the way. It's serious now. It's serious it's quiz no, time. You know, you're not going to have to have fumor for fever, are you? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I'm not no, doing no, that. There's not going to be any of that going on in this quiz, is there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not going to... I'm going to... You're going to have to spell didgeridoo. <laughs> How's that? Um, no, OK. I, I'm, I'm going to warn you now. These questions, they're not easy. We're not letting you off the hook. Oh, this is the two yeah. of you. OK, Scarlett? So yeah. you better be on your best form. Uh, we've got five questions. I'm going to hit you with the first one right now. Uh how many boxers have appeared on I'm a Celebrity over the years? UK shows only. How many boxers? How many boxers, how many professional boxers right. have appeared on I'm a Celeb over the years? Uh, yeah. I'll let you have a little moment to take it in. Do you think you have a rough idea? Does a number spring to mind just instinctively? I can think of two. You think too? Okay, I'm going to go to Scarlett. Uh, so I won't let that be your favourite answer, your final answer. Sorry, you can stew on that. Scarlett, have you got a number that's coming to you? Yeah, I have actually. You, you've got a number. Okay, all right, yeah. I'll hold that there. And you said two. Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yeah, there is. The two I can remember is the walking backwards Chris Eubank. Okay, walking Dave, backwards Chris Eubank. And David the Hay. Eubank. And David Hay. Okay, those are your two. David Hay and the walking backwards, Chris Eubank, senior, that is. Senior. Scarlett, Andy's going with two. Are you going to go higher or are you going to go lower? Well, I was going to go high because I think of Mia Khan, who you were in there, Andy. He's a boxer, isn't he? Of course, I'm Mia Khan. <laughs> I just got any. No, it's too late. Oh. That was your final answer. That was your final answer. You've thrown in the towel and there, another, straight in the middle of the ring. There's another one as well, but I can't remember his name. I think it's David something, so I'm going to go four. But it, all you need is the number, Scarlett. All you need four. is the number. You don't have to remember the actual individual names. You're going to go four. Andy, you went two. OK, uh, we're going to do the answers at the end. We're going to keep the answers at the end. I can't believe when you didn't see me, I was like... <laughs> I know. That is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fumer all over again, isn't it? Yeah, the fumer all how, over again. How many people that put letters up on a shelf in a show called Countdown have been 
in I'm a Celebrity over the years? I'm kidding. Don't worry. <laughs> Next question. Number two is what are, let's see how closely you know these guys, what are Anton Deck's star signs? Oh, okay. Not a clue. Of course you don't have a clue. I mean, that, you, I, mean I would find it creepy if yeah. you did. That's too Listen, much. No, that, that, that's not I'm a Celebrity. That, that, that's stalking Anton Deck. <laughs> that's stalking, isn't it? I haven't got a clue. I'll just go. Okay, you haven't got a clue. I'll just go. Give us a guess. Give us a guess. Pisces. And Pisces. And Aries. And Aries. Scarlett, do you have any idea? I dare say it. Do you even know? You're, you're into your crystals. You're into your sac... Um, not so, sacra. You're into your... I'm going to say, so we normally Star celebrate signs. Anne's birthday when we in the jungle, which is November... So I'm going to say Sagittarius, Ooh. and then Dex. Okay, there's some insight. I think maybe Dex is Aries, but I might have the dates of the astrology wrong. But I, if that's right, I also sound like a weirdo. <laughs> okay. Scarlett, if that's right, so, fair play to you. I know. <laughs> if that's right, you need to go to jail. It's worrying. <laughs> okay, we'll do the answers at the end. Number three, has there been more kings of the jungle or queens from the jungle from series one to series 22? More kings or more queens? Instinctively, do you feel like you know the answers, guys? Do you, do you straight away, do you think, actually, yeah, I've got this? I know how many. Yeah. Oh, you know how many. Andy? I, I'm going to go more, more queens. Okay, you're going to go more queens. Scarlett, you're going to go... I'm going to say this... Been 12 kings and 10 queens. Okay. All right. She's gone for an actual number. Wow. <laughs> Two more questions I left. Fair to say, I think Scarlett knows a lot more about I'm a celebrity than me. <laughs> no, I might not. I might not. To be honest, I'm not sure, Andy, if you've ever even watched it, by well, the way, this yeah, is going. Well, I, did, I mean, I, did, I don't even know if that was actually you in the bush yeah. with Amir Khan, yeah, no, if you can't I, get I that I don't, right. I don't think he was. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I, you know what, I, I completely, I'm just thinking outside the box and I completely forgot about it, mate. So I'm, I'm, I'm going, can I, can I give three now? Three, three for that. I think you should let, I rather think than, let him show. Do you, Scarlett? Well, yeah, maybe do, maybe you can let him next time you're the quiz master. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andy. I'll right, question number Andy. four. In this year's <laughs> In this year's I'm a Celebrity South Africa, Joe and Dean went head to head with a drinking trial. Flipping disgusting was the trial to win their campmates a treat. What was Janice Dickinson's treat of choice? I can't remember because my head fell off because they didn't win mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was your what was yours? I can't, what was I your was chocolate treat of choice? I think it was chocolate. I can't remember what it was now. You don't even know your no, treat of choice. No, because I didn't, this I has didn't, been an absolute I didn't disaster. I didn't pick it. I think my wife, my wife had said what, what it would be. And I think I me mean, oh. just because I think Joe turned around and said I didn't get it and uh, and I was like oh my head, my head just went so I was like great. Um, <laughs> I think I think it was some kind of chocolate. I think if I remember right away. <laughs> okay. Some kind of chocolate. So do you want to have a guess for, for um, Genesis? Cheese. We can come back to you, Andy. Scarlett, give it, okay, cheese. Cheese, Andy. Andy's going with cheese. Scarlett, what are you going with? Janice I'm Dickinson. I'm going to go with fruit and nut chocolate. Right, number five. Which celebrity, it's the last question, the ultimate question now, which celebrity from a previous I'm a Celebrity year chose toothpicks as their luxury item. Come on, guys. Toothpicks as their luxury item. That must have been going back a while ago because you get dental floss now. Yeah. That's, that's, that's go. Well, that's... I sh I'll give you... I might give you... If I'm allowed to give spare points, I might give you a bonus point for that. Just for knowing that they've moved to floss yeah, um, as opposed to the toothpicks. I ain't got a clue. Uh, okay. John Fashion. John Fashionu. Okay, Scarlett, who um, chose toothpicks as their luxury item? I'm trying to think of, like, people who were in the original. Tony Blackburn. Tony Blackburn. Yeah. Okay, final answer. Right, okay, to number one, how many boxers have appeared on I'm a Celebrity over the years? UK shows only. The answer was five. Who's the other two, then? The other two, so all of the boxers were Nigel Benn, Joe Bugner, David Hay, Chris Eubank Sr. And, of course, Andy. Amir Khan. I don't know if you know this guy, a man called Amir Khan. Yeah. 
Number two, what's our Antidex star signs? The answers were Scorpio and Libra. Ah. Oh. Yeah. That's close then. So, yeah, no, so no points, no points for you guys there. Uh, question number three, has there been more Kings of the Jungle or Queens from Series 1 to Series 22? Scarlet got it nailed on. 12 Kings, 10 Queens. She, Scarlet she's been on Google right. before this, hasn't she? She knew that this quiz was coming. She's I am, but you know what it is? So That's like... always a good um, pub quiz question. That pub quiz question always comes out. There you go. Oh, well done, Scarlett. You've battered me. Exactly. Someone's <laughs> training. In this year's I'm a Celebrity, South Africa, Joe and Dean went head-to-head with a drinking trial, flipping disgusting, to win their campmates a treat. What was Janice Dickinson's treat of choice? It was dark chocolate. Oh. You were close. Oh, we were so close. But it's close. black and white answers here yeah. only. So, yeah, I know. And the celebrity that chose toothpicks as their luxury item was snooker legend Steve, Steve Davis. Davis. Oh. So you said snooker there legend, it would be Steve Davis. Of course, there you go. Scarlett takes the prize as the ultimate celeb super fan. Well done, uh, Andy. Sorry, I'm afraid you're going well, home with is, nothing, she mate. She's a queen and I'm just a runner-up anyway, so I'm a runner-up again. I'm used to it. Well, you're you are so our much legend. Than you're, you're a legend. legend. You're a legend, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Toff. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to the I'm a Celeb South Africa, the podcast. Now, this is how I, I start off with everyone. It's the thing I want to know. What was the main difference between the I'm a Celeb this time round compared to the first time round? Oh, there were some really gnarly noises this time round. Like, Oz oh, was sort of familiar. Yeah, like familiar in the sense of... It was Are you sure they weren't Paul like Burrell? Guess. Yeah, probably was Paul Barrow, yeah, actually, yeah. on reflection. <laughs> oh, on reflection, it probably was the butler, yes. But aside from that, like, you would hear these orangutans in the distance. I'd be thinking, oh, like, it actually might be coming for us. So, yeah, that was the one key difference for me. OK, so, yeah, you had the animals. And what about what about the people? Do you think that you bonded better, you know, orangutans aside? <laughs> what are they? I forgot! I'm, I'm glad that the cam mates left a mark. Uh, with you. <laughs> you do remember there were people there. No, but you're not new to it. Everyone knows what they're about to go through. So did that change things? Yeah, I think it was really different, actually. And I felt like I was the young mucker this time. Right. Whereas the first time that I did it, there were quite a few young youngies. OK. Um, well, apart from you know, Stanley, who I did it with, who's like 60 years older than me, but yes, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm speaking generally. Um, so this time around, yeah, it was like a real diverse group of personalities. And I think because we all had done it before, it was really obvious it wasn't our first radio. Yes. But, but what comes with that, right, is a lot of anxiety because you know what hell you've been put through the first time. Okay. And you're hyper aware and everyone's sort of trying to think ahead of the production, which you just can't. We know that, right? Yes. Yes, even I know that, yes. <laughs> but this time you came in late, which was new for you. How did that change the experience? Were you nervous about that? Were you anxious about that going in late? Sure, you've really hit the nail on the head. I was so nervous. Obviously, oh. I knew nothing. So yes. I then when I got an inkling that there was another camp, I thought, just straight from the get-go, you really want to gel well and you want to settle and you want to yes. make bonds. And then I was like, God, they've been in here and they've done that without me. And I found it really comforting to know that Amir Khan was in there for my year. Yes, of course. Yeah, which which I sort of slid on into camp and I had yeah. straight away an ally, which I found really comforting. Um, so, yeah, like so many differences between the first time and the second. And, and did you notice a change in Amir from the first time round? <laughs> no, he still makes me die with laughter. Like, oh, as, soon, as soon as he opens his mouth, <laughs> I was like, the man hasn't changed at all. Oh, and that's great. Yeah, I just, I adore Amir. I'm a really big fan of him. But he we was such an amazing campmate to have both times. You know, honestly, if I could have chosen one person to do it twice with, I would have yes. chosen Amir. So oh, I felt really lovely. lucky. Well, that must have been quite sad then when he left relatively early. 
I was mortified. Yeah. Like, I thought it was like the biggest injustice ever. You're really transporting me back. I remember being in the Bush Telegraph. Yeah. And I was like, this just can't be happening. Because around the campfire, he was such a huge personality. And the thing that I loved the most about Amir, you know, I'm obviously like, well, I suppose it isn't obvious, but I'm not really into my boxing. So I never really had that I affection. thought you was. I thought you might even box yourself. <laughs> Can you imagine? Me, yeah. me and Eddie Hearn, you know, best mates. <laughs> <laughs> He's my bro. Um, no, yeah. they, they're certainly not. But I never had this appreciation for him as a sportsman, which probably sounds really bad. But no, I know what you mean. You know, I what, know I mean? what you mean because Just he comes as across person. as so fr- He's so friendly and so soft. And unintentionally funny. That is the key to Amir Khan. The yeah. stuff that comes out of his mouth. And I'm like, oh my God, you had no idea how funny that was. It wasn't meant to be humorous, which yes. I think makes the most fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, this time round, you obviously didn't win. I'm sorry no, to bring it up. Fuming, can you believe it? I thought I it was going to double drop the crowd. Can't believe it. <laughs> Can't believe it. Sick of people asking. I'm, they're like, did you win again? And I'm like, uh, I'll answer that another time. <laughs> no, you would have worn two crowns if you had. You'd be walking around London. Bloody hell, my head would have been even bigger. It's good it didn't happen. Did you feel like there was an extra pressure because you were the winner before you were the queen of the jungle? Did, it, did that kind of put an extra pressure onto it? Yeah, that's such a good question. I reckon so. I think I'd be silly to not admit that it would have done. Yeah. Because you think, I mean, uh, compared to other people, some people did it 20 years ago, right? Yes. Mine was five and a half, five, six, six years ago, right? And I have grown up now in the sense that, you know, I am a bit older. I, I'm in my late 20s. I yes. am a bit more scared by nature. Just is that, I think do you do. think that's the main difference then? That you, the, the toff that went in this time round was more trepidatious? Mm. She, you, do you think you were more fearful than you were last time? Yeah, I think I was. Yeah. Wow. I think... You didn't come across yeah. like that, by the way, I don't think. Okay, good, thank you. But I it's think, okay. Yeah, emotionally, I was really scared because... You know, before I did The Jungle the first time, it was just such a huge opportunity. It's not that yes. I was anonymous, but, like, I was a bit character on MIC. Like, literally yes. no one knew me. I was the girl with the silly nickname, right? And then I did The <laughs> Jungle, and everything went crazy. And I went into it the first time not knowing how the world was. I, I, I just wasn't very shabersy, right? Wow. And then after five years... I was just worried, yeah. I think, yeah, okay. really, really worried. But, so now you're Queen Showbiz. You oh, know it God. now. I don't know. But I wish I didn't know, you know? It makes yes, you I didn't know. more cautious. I, yes, I, I know what you mean. How was it this time round? Obviously, when, you know, you did it the first time round, I did the jungle last year, we were up against the public vote. Yeah. And so that's, the, you know, that's the aspect of it that I can relate to. I can't relate this time round to what you've been through. How different was it? Weirdly but, liberating. Really? Weirdly, because you think, well... I always have this thing that I think every, I think that the public won't like me, right? Even oh, after yes, the first I, time. I, we all, I, we, I, you I, know, I know, I watch I know. you. Trust me, I know. I know. Um, <laughs> right? And that can be really crippling. But imagine, Sean, if you'd have done it this time and you'd have been sat there thinking, well, even if they don't like me, they'll get rid of me. It's quite freeing. <laughs> and by the way, on that note, I adored watching you before Christmas. Like, oh, you that's are, lovely. You know, not to sort of turn it around in an interview, but you are the perfect person that I had I didn't know much about you and this format That's gave you the best. outlet <laughs> no it's a wonderful thing but gave you the outlet to really shine and I think that's why oh, this that's show lovely. is really really good no I love yes absolutely it is it is that is what's special about the show people's not only do their personalities come through but their their backstories their stories of of how they came to be who they are that also yeah. comes through and that's that's fantastic we nearly saw another side of Toff. And maybe this is because the, the, the public weren't voting. Mm. But we, we saw the niceties, they, they dropped slightly. They dropped slightly, just a little bit this time round, uh, when you told Helen that she needed to up her game after yeah. her poor showing in, in 2011. Yeah, she really did. And I so stand by it. Helen yeah. and I, I really, Helen and I became very close very quickly. And oh, did you? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, so we, I speak to her every day now. I love her so much. Great. And you know those hours, like you know this, when you're just sat and there's nothing to do, Helen was playing it over and over in her head about how she thought, in her opinion, 
which I totally disagreed with. She'd let her babies down by not doing very oh, well in no. the first trial. And I was like, I can't bear to hear it because they will literally die when they see their mummy doing that trial. Absolutely. But I didn't want her to come back and say that to me again. So I was like, you've got no other option. You've got to up your game now. Like, if you yes. weren't happy with the first time, go. Yes. Literally prove to everyone, because she's strong, Helen. Yes, she like, showed that this time round. Yeah, I was like, you can't. She had she was carrying a lot of baggage from the first time that she did it. And I was like, right, come on now. Like, this is your time. Yes. No one can help you. You've got to do it. So I really stand by what I said. I mean, I haven't actually watched it. So if that came across differently, then. No, it didn't. Whatever. No, no, but, like, it wasn't. No, it was I just, mean. it was very, no, it was just, it was very for, forthright. That's all. Also, there was a moment when, <laughs> for, and I wouldn't have been able to stand this. I have to say myself, I don't know what I would have done. When Ooh. Fatima was just dishing out all of the roles and changing everyone's role, just willy-nilly, right, you're doing this, you're on the long drop, right, you're getting the water, and there, and you, 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 it just cut to you, and you looked up, and you just zipped yourself back up. <laughs> you like, I'm having none of this. Zzz, off you went. That That's was so hilarious. Yes. Oh, God, That's my um, impeccably polite way of saying... Kindly bugger off, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> One, two, three, gone. I wish I could just carry a sleeping bag around with me and when anyone annoyed me, I could just zip myself up. <laughs> Toff, it's been amazing talking to you. Thank you so much for coming on. I've loved having you on. We loved watching you uh, in the bush. You were absolutely fantastic. As always, sad to see you go. Thank you so much, the Toff. Oh,